Hi everyone, uh, this is Rebel Dia Radio and we are here in Columbia University. There's the Mother Tongues Book Fair and we are going to be um, talking with some of the people here. The indigenous uh, people represent the mother languages that have survived and still are here. And with me today, can you please share your name? Okay, my name is Baizunia Hosa. I'm from the Alisan Mountain in Taiwan. Okay, great. And can you, um, well, let's start off with your book and then maybe from there. You have a book that you brought with you um, that's here part of the book fair. Would you like to talk about it and sort of the background of the book? Okay. The book is uh, started with um, very, very simple things. Our children read those research papers, but there was problem with that it's too difficult for kids that's why I give that's why give me the gave me the idea to write the book to make it simple easy to read for kids to learn mm -hmm. that's what I I hope it will work that way yeah. absolutely and is it um, if we can look inside even I think yes. be, um, is it it's both in English yes. and in the So our soul language, our language is called soul language, and this book has Chinese, has English, and also our language, and a beautiful, beautiful illustration. Yeah, it's, it is beautiful. it's all very, very natural, and in very related to our village life, so the kids were related to the books with the regular life. So it's much easier to learn language that way, I think, and I hope it will work. <laughs> yes. Let me ask you, because you shared with me earlier, off camera, um, that you returned to Taiwan. You, you live here, yes. mostly. So what, um, what's behind the inspiration for you to return to Taiwan and then to bring this back here, your culture? Um, please share sort of what drove you to that. Okay. Um, Actually, I live in California for a long time as a singer, classic singer. I went back home because I'm one of the older ones who can still speak the language. And I see all these things uh, disappearing. The language is disappearing. The tradition is tra disappearing. So I tell myself I have to go back to our village to help all these people who is striving to keep our tradition to work on these things. Why I bring it back to the, to the international scene? Because I would like more people to know there are many languages are disappearing from this world and I would like to prevent that if I can. As long as these languages are live, uh, are, uh, exist, the human, I think it's made our human being more more colorful in li mm. life wise so i hope all the language can can exist for as long as we can you know preserve it thank you great no thank you and uh your words are right on and really resonate with with my projects of indigenous culture in all forms including language exactly. it's so important before it's lost mm -hmm. so thank you for your work thank you yeah and i have to add another word Lots of people think they are helping us to preserve the book when they are writing a thick book. But those things go to the library or museum. Mm. We don't want that to happen because we want the people to see it, to live in it, not go to the museum or library. Yeah. To, this to is much more it. accessible than exactly. a big book. Absolutely. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank yeah. You very much. Yeah, thank you for, for this. Okay, so this is Carlos with Rebel Dia Radio, and we're here at Columbia University, again at the Mother Tongues Book Fair, an opportunity for indigenous people of different languages to come and share information, um, their language itself, with the people that, and show that there are still languages that exist that are outside the Western sort of norm. Thank you.